the voices behind the pixels, exploring racial representation in video game voice acting. In recent decades, the video game industry has grown from a niche hobby to a global cultural phenomenon, influencing entertainment, art, and social discourse. As games have become more sophisticated, so too has the attention paid to their narrative elements, including voice acting. This evolution has brought to light questions of racial representation in games, particularly in the realm of voice acting. This paper examines the complex interplay between racial identity, authenticity, and artistic expression in video game voice acting, exploring the various perspectives and implications of casting choices in this medium. The history of voice acting in video games is relatively short but rapidly evolving. Early games featured minimal voice work, often relying on text for dialogue. As technology advanced, voice acting became more prevalent, but racial representation was often limited or stereotypical. The gaming industry, predominantly led by white developers in its formative years, frequently defaulted to white voice actors for a wide range of characters, regardless of the characters depicted race or ethnicity. As awareness of diversity issues in media has grown, so too has scrutiny of representation in games. This has led to discussions about what some term digital blackface in video game voice acting, the practice of using white voice actors to portray characters of color. Proponents of race matching in voice acting argue that it provides authenticity and representation, allowing characters of color to be portrayed by actors who may have lived experiences that inform their performance. Additionally, they contend that prioritizing actors of color for these roles provides much-needed employment opportunities in an industry that has historically favored white talent. Conversely, arguments against strict race matching in voice acting often center on artistic freedom and merit-based casting. Some argue that the essence of acting is to portray someone different from oneself, and that skill should be the primary consideration in casting decisions. There are also practical considerations in game development, such as budget constraints or the availability of talent, that can influence casting choices. To illustrate these issues, we can look at specific cases in the gaming industry. Bethesda's games, such as the Fallout series, have been criticized for their approach to NPC diversity, with some arguing that they use white voice actors for characters with darker skin tones without providing authentic representation. On the other hand, there are notable examples of successful cross-racial voice acting in popular games, such as Kratos from God of War being voiced by Christopher Judge, a black actor, despite the character being depicted as pale-skinned. The industry has not been deaf to these discussions. In recent years, there has been a noticeable shift in casting practices, with many developers and publishers making public commitments to diversity and inclusion. Some companies have launched initiatives to increase diversity both in voice acting and in game development more broadly, recognizing that representation behind the scenes can influence the authenticity of representation in the final product. Player perspectives on this issue vary widely. Some players prioritize immersion, and argue that voice acting should match the visual representation of characters. Others contend that the quality of the performance is more important than the actor's race. Community discussions around these issues have become more prevalent, with some players actively advocating for greater diversity in games. The debate over racial representation in video game voice acting does not exist in isolation. Similar discussions have occurred in other media, such as animation, film, and television. The choices made in game development can have broader implications, potentially influencing cultural perceptions and stereotypes. Moreover, the narratives and character development in games may be affected by the lived experiences and perspectives that voice actors bring to their roles. Looking to the future, emerging technologies such as AI voice synthesis may further complicate these issues. As the ability to create realistic voices artificially improves, questions may arise about the role of human voice actors altogether. The industry will need to grapple with balancing authenticity, diversity, and creative freedom in an evolving technological landscape. 
In conclusion, the debate over racial representation in video game voice acting reflects broader societal discussions about representation and authenticity in media. While there is no easy solution that will satisfy all perspectives, the ongoing dialogue is pushing the industry to be more thoughtful and intentional in its casting choices. As games continue to evolve as a storytelling medium, so too will the considerations around how best to represent diverse characters and stories. The path forward will likely involve continued engagement between developers, voice actors, and players, striving for a balance that respects artistic vision while promoting authentic and diverse representation.